How to Talk to Strangers, Part 1. Keo Stark has always talked to strangers. She believes these fleeting moments give us new ways to fall in love with the world. She shares four ways to spark a meaningful interaction with someone you've never met before. What does it take to say a simple hello to a stranger you pass on the street? How might that interaction continue? What are the places in which you are more likely to interact with people you don't know? How do you get out of a conversation? These sound like easy questions. They are not. Each of the following expeditions provides a structure and a contrivance to help you explore the world of people you don't know. Each gives you a method or a reason for talking to a stranger, a mechanical problem to solve. Take notes with your mind as you go along and write them down when you get back. Share your notes on your blog, your social networks, anywhere you write about your experiences. You can enlighten your friends and readers with your observations. Documenting experiences is a special way of processing them for yourself. You can do them all in one day or space them out over months. You might enjoy one of them and do it over and over. You might try this and find it's not for you. Anything is possible. The first expedition is a warm-up to help you slow down your pace and sharpen your awareness. Hone your skills at observing public behavior and get you in the right frame of mind. I highly recommend you do this once, no matter which other expeditions you might choose. Number one, watch and learn. You'll need a notebook for this. Spend one hour in a public place where you are not likely to encounter people you know. Try a park, a cafe, a public plaza, a tourist destination, a bus, or a train. Anywhere you can linger and watch people who are not moving rapidly is perfect. Choose a good place to sit so you'll be able to see a variety of people at a relatively close distance. Sit still. Turn off your devices. Get off the grid. I really mean off. It's only an hour. You can do it. Part of the challenge here is full presence. Start looking around you. First, describe the setting. Where are you? What are the most interesting features of the place? What is it for? What do people do there that it isn't designed for? What kinds of people are there? Take notes on what they look like, how they are dressed, what they do and don't do, how they interact with one another. If there is a big crowd, you can focus on just a few people if you want. If you are inspired to invent backstories for any of them, make sure to specify the details about them that inform your narrative. So for example, if you conclude that someone is confident or rich, homeless or shy, a tourist, or lives in the neighborhood, what told you that? Their posture, their skin, their clothing? Slow down your mind and understand where your assumptions come from. Number two, say hello. Take a walk in a populous place like a park with paths or along a city sidewalk. Define a territory for yourself. Are you going to walk around the block, from the oak tree to the far bench? Give yourself a reasonable territory to traverse, something that will take at least five to 10 minutes. Choose a place that has a reasonable density of pedestrians, but not a packed pathway. Walk slowly. Your mission is to say hello to every person you pass by, all of them. Try to look them in the eye, but don't worry if they don't hear you or ignore you. You're just getting warmed up. Now try it again and mix in phatic observations, the kind that mean little overtly, but speak of social acknowledgement. In place of greetings, things like cute dog, I like your hat, or cold out today. These acts of noticing pierce the veil of anonymity and create momentary social space. You're behaving a little strangely in public, so pay attention to how people respond. You might make a few people uncomfortable, but since you're doing it with everyone and you're not stopping, the discomfort should be minimal. So what's happening when you greet people? Do they smile? Do they laugh? Are they startled? Do they seem uneasy? Do they talk to their companions about what's happening? If you're nervous about your comfort, you can take a friend along. The friend doesn't have to say anything to anyone. They're just there to make you feel safe.